Can I get a show of hands of who in here likes to, likes to eat pizza? Okay. Now, uh, now, all those that raise your hands, how many of you would like to ever try a slice of New York? Um, me, uh, me and two other colleagues back in uh, March 2012, uh, we got together to come up with this uh, project in which at first we were just trying to make some money just to get by in college and uh, we ended up uh, taking off after the second year. Our sales grew exponentially and we uh, ended up having to uh, acquire eight, eight, new, uh, eight new workers to help out. And now uh, I've been asked by the board to come here today to present to you my findings about uh, my research on where I believe we should take Golden Crust Pizza and uh, where should we where, where we should uh, take it from uh, Florida and uh, where we should relocate it from Florida and uh, yeah. So uh, what is Golden Crust Pizza? It is a business that prepares and serves pizza and other related dishes. And, uh, three key factors that have uh, emerged that uh, have very uh, high significance in our, within our business and they are the education, the workforce, and the ecosystem. And we and I decided to relocate, take our business from uh, Florida to New York. And so I'll go over the first factor, which is uh, education. And uh, we're using education to measure the individuals that live in Florida compared to New York to help determine the reasons why New York is the best location for a Golden Crest pizza. And the benefits would be, well, as you, uh, you can see from this chart, this is the number of bachelor's degrees. This is the number of people with bachelor's degrees or higher in uh, Florida on top of New York is on the bottom. And then as you can clearly see, New York is leading in that. And uh, comparing individuals with a uh, bachelor's degree or higher, you uh, definitely benefit by working with New York. And the growing number of college students in New York will help us find quality clients will help us to find quality clients quicker and easier. And the risk that would be, that would come with this would be that uh, moving to such a college educated area is that uh, workers may not stay with the company for long before seeking uh, higher paying jobs. Uh, next factor would be the workforce. And uh, New York government employs about 30%, 34% more workers than Florida governments. And uh, New York's public workforce is 60% using unionized, while Florida is at 27%. The benefits of the larger workforce and greater number of unionized workers will help with the searching for workers that want to work and find the correct fit. And the risk that comes with this is that we may lose some key experienced employees. And um, the next factor is the uh, economy. As you can see, uh, I have a graph here of New York. New York compared to Florida about uh, on their uh, comparing the GDPs and unemployment rates. And uh, as you can see at the annual GDP and GDP per capita, uh, compared with uh, Florida, New York has about a, about a 645,000, 645,739 dollars advantage over Florida. And then GDP per capita, New York also leads with about 40,554 dollars more than Florida. And uh, the benefit of this would be that the higher, GA, the higher GDP may lead to increased consumption, economic growth, higher tax revenue, lower unemployment, and increased productive capacity. And, uh, the, the major risks that come with this, the major risks that come with relocating to New York, probably the biggest risk is that the New York government spending is unusually high. And high spending means high taxes, which is part of the reason why people are leaving New York. The high taxes will be something we have. We would have to get acclimated to being from Florida, but it is the risk we're willing to take. Now, uh, I'd like to take the time to thank all the board members for allowing for their continued support and allowing me to present my findings on why I believe that New York would be the best location to take my business, Golden Crest Pizza. And uh, if uh, you have any questions, I'd gladly accept them. Uh, um, what's the